Hey guys, so this is Brian again from Geeked Out Solutions. I'm uh, going to go over a quick little video today showing you how to set up Google uh, Speech to Text, or sorry, Text to Speech rather, TTS. Um, it's come up a couple times, people have asked. I like the voices better a little bit. They don't sound as robotic right now, you know, while people are getting some of the voices figured out. But uh, it does come at a cost, you know, eventually. So we're just on the main Mycroft uh, GitHub page, and if you scroll down a little bit, there'll be a link here to the Google um, speech to text link. And so when you click that, it'll bring you to this page. And the first thing you're gonna wanna click is this acquiring key. So you're gonna wanna click this Chromium dev and make sure that whatever account you're under is the one that you want to use, All right? So before you click that account, uh, so I'm gonna copy the link again and do it under my other, my business account. All right, and so I'm already joined, but you should see right in here. You'll see a you know join this group kind of thing. Um, I can show you since I'm not a part of it on my other account. All right, so if we just switch real quick, paste it in. Um, I guess I've already joined it under this one too. So either way, let me just see. I can just unjoin it. All right, so if I leave this group. Now you'll see, right, join group to post. So you need to make sure you're a part of this group for, I guess, this to work. So join group to post, join the group, and we're in, right? So now, next piece is click this link to go to the console, right? So when I click that, it's going to bring me here. I want to make sure, once again, I'm under the right account. And you can see I already created a project. Um, so what this would look like typ typically, I'll show you under a different account. So I've created a bogus one here, so I can just go and delete this project. Where, I think it's here. Shut down. can see how it looks from start to finish. So now we want to create a new project. This is what you would normally see. So when you would come to the page, you would see, oh, well, uh, not under this platform, but we would go home. So home dashboard, this is what you should see when you click on that link and log in with your Google account. You'll just go create. We're just going to name it Mycroft. And after a second here, we're going to have a dashboard project ID. It takes just a minute or so. All right, so we have a project info and everything here. So now we want to go back and go to API Manager Dashboard, or I'm sorry, Library, rather. And you want to click on Speech API and you want to click enable and you will have to enable billing and you'll have to go through this piece putting in your credit card and everything um, it's free initially but there there will be a cost you know over time after you after you've kind of used up your free credits I'll put some information in about the billing and everything inside the video when I post it um, but it you know I know with Amazon you get like 12 months free I'll have to look at what what it is with Google it doesn't look like though they do give you a message that says they won't actually bill you without your authorization, I think. So you actually have to like approve it. I think they just shut your stuff off. So either way, enable billing, go through that, put all that stuff in, right? And when you're done, you'll have an account that can enable it, right? So I have $300, you can see left, and 365 days. So it looks like they give you basically a free year, right? So you can test this out for a year. So now we're going to do enable. And then we're going to go to credentials because we need to cre create a credential for this, right? And I'm going to create an API key for this. And this key is going to be blurred out, but I'm going to copy this key now and go to 
home.mycroft.ai, log in, go under advanced, and I'm going to go to micro, you know, go to Mycroft, and Google is going to be the engine. Now, the only way I've been able to figure out how to kind of get this to work is click Google, and you're going to want to paste in those credentials, and then save it. But I don't really want to use it for the speech to text. I just want to use it for the text to speech. So once you've put the engine in, and I've seen that this can cause problems with this being here. So what I recommend doing is after you've put the credentials in, click back on here, leave this the way it is, right? You need to change it from Mimic to Google here, but change it back from Google to Mycroft on the engine. So we're only going to use it now for text to speech, not for speech to text, and we're gonna save it. And now what should happen is when you pull up your CLI, right? So I'm on my desktop version, so I'm gonna start the CLI version of Mycroft. There's a link in the docs.mycroft.ai if you're not familiar with how to do this. It should be pretty much like this unless you're on a Mark 1, which I've got that documented already on how to do. So we're gonna run this. It's gonna open up a CLI and basically you should well before i go to that i'm just going to cat the scripts logs mycroft.skills log which is where it is in the desktop version and you'll see that this is something i think normal that, that hasn't been fixed yet but you should see that in here somewhere it's going to say like configuration updated, I don't know exactly where it is, but somewhere in here it'll say configuration updated or whatever, and after that happens, when you run the CLI and you ask it, you know, this question. It's 7.34 p.m. You'll see that it's now using the Google text-to-speech. It's a different voice and different sound, right? same kind of concept if I went back and changed it back and saved it then I would see a message pop across the screen you know configuration has been updated uh, and you should then see it activated so once that's done that should be everything that's needed to make it work uh, I haven't played around as much with changing this for Google for the speech to text as much right I'm just really using it right now for the text to speech engine but you could probably play around with that like I said I've only seeing really just clicking that to get the credentials in and then saving it and then letting that kick down to the device and then once that's done clicking back to Mycroft and saving it and that seems to kind of work from what I can see here when I find out more I'll let you know or I'll do an updated video but that seems like the easiest way to push it down to all the devices and get them all updated uh, pretty quickly